Agora TV. The world is thinking. Margaret, as an, someone involved in education, what, what are some of the obstacles to uh, getting this into kids' lives more and more? Well, I have to remember I'm sitting next to the White House Office of Science Technology <laughs> Policy, but Tom and I know each other a bit, so I'll, I'll be fairly candid. I, I think you know we're, we're at a critical juncture um, in our education system, and we are, we're suffering um, from a, a problematic kind of legacy, which is no child left behind, and the ushering in of high stakes and kind of sort of accountability on steroids. I, I'm not opposed to accountability. I don't think any of us are. But um, I think, you know, if you look at um, lessons from around the world and you look at countries that are outperforming us on all sorts of indicators, not just assessments of student progress, you don't see the same level of kind of hyperized testing that we have in American schools. So, you know, we're at a moment in time when that legislation is up for reauthorization. We're going to hopefully have it have it reshaped and recast in some important respects, so that you know, once again, there is room in the curriculum to do some of the things that both teachers and children really relish doing that have to do with creativity and innovation and sort of getting your hands in the you know, in the stuff as a strategy for learning. And I, I think that, um, you know, one of my colleagues said recently, and, and uh, it's always the good ideas that stick in your head, she said, you know, Margaret, teachers are the ultimate makers. And um, I really, I think that's very true. Um, it, it, maybe it was more true prior to this age of high stakes testing, but when you think about what our best educators do day in and day out um, in our classrooms, they're inventive, they're creative, they're, they're repurposing, recrafting, remaking constantly to make good things happen for kids in their classrooms. So when, you know, when I think about um, sort of what we're going to be able to do with our makerspace that Cognizant is so generously supporting, Obviously, it's for our museum visitors and kids in our communities, but we really hope to turn it into a kind of third place for teachers where they can come and um, be nourished and be fed and be generative and be creative and hopefully migrate some of those kinds of experiences back to their classrooms as well.